Hey YouTube. I'm gonna cover uh, Nilifer Yana's. Uh, I'm gonna do a lesson on her song Crash. And uh, it's like what I would call a, uh, it's, it's a difficult song, okay? <laughs> so let's just get that right out of the way. It sounds simple the way she uh, performs it. It makes it, it's very, got a very loose um, kind of feel to it, but it's a very complex song. Um, because the chord progression changes through the whole song. Right, uh, doing stuff like that I'll go through it um, the, ho the whole uh, I'll go through the whole song but uh, a beginner could play it but it's not a beginner song <laughs> all right um, so I, I actually had to make notes um, I mean I could do it by ear but play it myself but I can't teach it by ear um, so uh, starts out with a cappella singing. And then uh, the first chords we hear from the guitar are power chords with a little fuzz on it. Just D A. And she's saying, you know, what's happening in the song? Let me just say, we get the melody and we get the uh, chords, okay, which is musically is known as the harmony. The melody stays the same the whole song, but the harmony is just constantly changing. All right, but the melody sounds good over any of these chord combinations. So if you're not trying to play along with um, the recording, you know, if you make a mistake, it's no big deal because the, the melody will sound good. It'll sound good over any of this. All right, but um, so start, she starts out a cappella. And the first chords we hear are D, A, two, three, four. It hangs on the A and just lets it trail out. And then we hear D, A, G. All right. If you ask me one more question, I'm about to crash. All right, we hear D. So D, A, and then it goes to D, A, G. All right, and then it goes to D, A, B, G. And she's still singing that, you know, kind of the same melody. All right, and then after the D, A, B, G, we go into what I think of as the chorus. And the chorus is this. Um, the chorus and that plays uh three times in a row and the chord progression is g a f sharp g all right and that yeah so g a f sharp and by the way she is playing uh the guitar on the video it is she's actually playing all the chords so you can use the video as a guide, but sometimes it's not tracked right. Like there's the, like somehow the sound and the videos are sometimes tracked and sometimes they're out of sync. So that's the only thing about using the video to see the chords is sometimes it's slightly out of sync, but she's playing it uh, for sure in the video. It's not, she's not doing fake guitar. Like uh, that guy, uh, Stevie T, talks about fake guitar. No, she's really playing it. <laughs> All right, uh, so the, that's the main cor uh, chorus I think of is uh, G, A, F sharp, G. Now, um, 
if you're playing just power chords, which you can do, you don't need to worry about major or minor. But um, if you're if you're uh, later on in the song, they play full chords. So um, we would play uh, G major, A major, F sharp minor, back to G major. All right. If you are if you're gonna play the full chord, then after after that. The, the chorus, what I think of is the chorus section. I think that concludes by going. So after three repetitions of the chorus, chord progression, it concludes by going D. B minor, if you're playing, if you're not playing your power chords, if you're playing uh, power chords, it's just D, B, G, and then it goes D, A, G. I made a note. As I said, uh, 54 seconds into the song, so this is basically a giant long. Uh, Chord progression that takes almost a minute to play. Um, so let just to review. Uh, the song begins a cappella. You just hear D A. Then it goes D A G. Oh, if you there's no doubt the heavy drinkers are D A B G. Then it goes. G, A, F sharp, G, we're in the chorus, G, A, F sharp, G, G, A, F sharp, G, D, B, G, D, A, G, Takes us up to uh, 54 seconds into the song. All right, and then and then we have a D A B G again. Then. where that whole uh, chord progression begins again. There's nothing new in the song after that. Um, so, um, remember D.A. was, when she was singing a cappella, that's how the song began. So we get to um, one minute and four seconds into the song, with, when it goes to that D.A. <laughs> then it basically repeats sections that it's already played. And once The one section it repeats, I think, three times is that uh, G, A, F sharp, G. That's what I would think of as the chorus. And that's the main uh, riff that plays uh, three times in the song. But everything else is just uh, combinations of that. D A G, you know, D B G, all that stuff repeats. Okay, and that gets us to about um, two minutes and nine seconds into the song. Right? I wouldn't. I mean, I think the whole thing just repeats exactly that long chord progression. And then when after that repeats the second time, you're we're at two minutes and nine seconds, and uh, she starts singing a cappella again, just kind of. Uh, uh, riffing on, and singing some ooh, oohs, and then it goes into the chorus one last time. And I think the chorus always, you know, repeats that three times. Right, and 
and that gets us to um, three minutes and 20 seconds into the song. Then the song totally flips and uh, she starts playing R&B chords or jazz chords. Um, so all the chords we played all the chord progressions stay the same, but the, the chords are then being played with like a B minor seven. I think it goes D minor seven, A major seven, G minor seven, F minor seven. Those are the chords she's using. All right, and um, yeah, and so basically uh, at, from 320 to the end of the song, um, that, that time may not be exactly right, but basically at the end of the song, you, you hear it's a very definite transition, very clear. And that's when she comes out of the chorus the third time. Then it goes to jazz chords. And uh, yeah, I think they're playing. Uh, you could also play that B minor 7 up here. I think that's what she appears to be doing. B minor 7, then go down to the A major 7. G minor 7. F sharp minor seven. Uh, that's that appears to be uh, what she's doing there at the end of the song. Okay, but it's going to take some work on your part to kind of uh, figure out uh, the sequence, uh, you know, in your own head and kind of get used to all the different changes, and then uh, and then the big switch at the end of the song where it goes from fuzzy power chords to uh, jazzy uh, chords clean jazzy chords but uh it's a great song so i would encourage you to try to figure it out all right but i think now we know why no one did a lesson on it oh. <laughs> already it's because it's uh, kind of like really uh what it is is the all the chord changes that's what gives it the loose feeling you know it's like you're not you know, she's not playing the same thing over and over. That's why it feels so loose, but uh, makes it difficult <laughs> too. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.